You can live off of your music with only 1,000 fans. Let's talk about what I mean by that. Join me in my mission to help put at least 50,000 music artists on the right track to be independently successful with their music to turn the talent that they have with their voice into gold. My name is Billy Nellis and welcome to the Golden Voice Podcast. Boom. Okay, so at one point in my journey, uh, I went deep into learning the fundamentals of marketing. And at one point through that, I discovered the 1000 true fans concept by Kevin Kelly. If you look him up, you'll see that what he means by the, the thousand true fan is that if you get a thousand supporters to spend a hundred dollars with on what you create throughout the year for the whole year, you'd make a, a hundred thousand dollars uh, in, in that case, what we're talking about here, it will be from your music. All right. So you get a thousand people to spend a hundred dollars with you for the whole year. You make a hundred thousand dollars with your music, right? So something like that would require hard work. Okay. It's, I'm not saying that it, it's going to be easy, but the, the concept is simple. If you really think about it with consistency, you can get there. All right. And once you get to that point, well, you, you would be free forever to live off of what you create as a, a as a creative independently. Right. And you, you would make good money off of that. And at that point, you know, it would just be math. Right. You would be the one controlling the numbers so that you can either uh, decrease, increase. You would do whatever you please because you're doing what you absolutely love which is making music, all right? Now, the way to get there is by using a marketing sales funnel that I call, okay? It might be a a way to market that maybe not all of you know about, okay? Because it's a way to market that's a little bit untraditional. It's a, it's a new way uh, to approach things when it comes to marketing online, right? So what you would do with that is you would collect emails and phone numbers okay to build your own list okay so that you take your followers on the platforms that you use that on the platforms that you're using see i'm eating my words a little bit you see what i'm saying i get excited about this i get hyped and i start eating my words so anyways bear with me that's my little flow right there but anyways yeah so you would take your followers from being outsiders to insiders of your world by taking them on a journey, nurturing them and converting them into true fans. All right. So what I mean by true fans, by the way, is someone that buys anything and everything that you put out there. All right. In your journey, you'll start seeing them, right? Anytime that you put a project out, anytime that you have a new song, maybe some new merch, a new offer that you put out there, you'll start seeing, you know, the regular people that are going to buy off of you uh, and that are going to support you. Th these these are the people that I'm talking about right here. True fans. And, you know, the music industry always wants you to think, OK, at least the perception is that you need millions of fans to make it off of, you know, make it make a living off of your music. Right. But that's that couldn't be further. But but the truth, if you have a small, loyal group of people that supports you with everything that you create, if you do the math, you have a thousand of those people that spends a hundred dollars or more with you. That's at least a hundred thousand dollars that you can make off of your music or, or anything, at least that you create around your music. Right. So uh, you remember on the last episode, and if you didn't catch up, I talk about music marketing and the five keys to music freedom with marketing. Right. So there's two keys that are going to allow you to unlock the super fan engine that I call. Okay. And, and like I said, this is the third of a series where I break down the, uh, AMF formula to become a self-made music artist. Now we're on the super fan engine part of it, the F of it. Okay. Fans that that's what we're talking about right here. And you know, the, f the, the, f the two last keys of the five keys to music freedom with marketing, I talked about building a list of music buyers that you can then retarget, right? So once you get there, here how's, how it goes. So you're going to use your social media uh, platforms or you, the channels that you're using online, right? It may be YouTube, it may be Instagram, it may be TikTok, whatever the case may be. Now you take some of these people 
that are outsiders. They're not in your world yet. That, that's why a lot of music artists think that when they have followers, they're automatically fans. Okay, they're they're not okay. I would say that they they are a fan of your music. They kind of like what what you're doing, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a true fan or somebody that's gonna support you for everything that you're gonna be putting out there, right? And those are the people that you want, right? So whatever channel that you're using now, you want to take them outside of that channel, okay? You're gonna grab some information, uh, email, phone number, in exchange for something, okay? It has to be a value to them can be a free song download download it can be access to a private community it can be a, a contest that you put out where you need some information so that you can gather uh, uh some data and build your own list right so that in the event that social media shuts down for whatever reason then at least you have something you're not gonna start from zero if you lose all your followers today if your channel shuts down you would have nothing you see what I'm saying? So that's why you want to take them from being outsiders to inside of, of insiders of your world so that you can then nurture them and have things in the back end that you can offer them so that they can buy low ticket item bundles. And, and this is something that we're probably going to talk about on the next episode so that you can know the type of offers that you can create uh, in order for you to, you know, start finding your music buyers and your true fans. You see what I'm saying? So. So somebody that, that did that so greatly, okay, she killed it. This is my good friend, Christine Morell, and uh, she's actually one of the speakers on my upcoming summit. Hey, real quickly, just wanted to plug this in now. Are you an independent music artist that want to learn how to increase the success and income and become bulletproof with financial crises like the world shutting down? Well, I put 20 of my top music industry expert friends on the line at the 2022 Indie Artist Summit coming up April 25th, where we're going to cover on topics like improving your craft, purpose and mindset, effective music marketing strategies and self-promotion and the music business as a whole. And guess what? It's absolutely free for you to go and claim your free ticket at www.ndartistsummit.com right now. And you, you don't have to go anywhere. It's going to be virtual. It's going to be online so that you can come in soaking, soaking on some of that, some of that knowledge and that experience from 20 of my music industry friends and following the one that we did in 2020, we're going to do this one even better because the last one was my first one. And this is the second one coming up. All right, so all you have to do, you ain't got nothing to lose. Go to www.ndartistsummit.com, claim your free ticket, check out the agenda, and hopefully we'll see you there on April, starting from April 26th for three days. Value pack with all the information that you're going to need to do just that. Increase your success and income as an independent music artist. All right, now let's get back to the episode. And she's a seven figure music entrepreneur that made millions independently by avoiding to send her audience to her streaming links links, right? So sending people to uh, Spotify, say, or, you know, wherever you're, you're, put, you're distributing your music to get streams. Right. But instead she sent them to her funnels, right? She collecting the data to build her own list, right? Uh, gave access to a free song down, download and in the back end she had offers that you know small digital products that she created around her music that they would then buy and that was helping her building her list of music buyers and she 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 was nurturing them building a relationship with them she called them friends right friends fans friends uh, i think that was something pretty cool but anyways she she you know she has some digital products that she created that she was offering in the back end and that's what was converting that's what was converting them into true fans up to this day so hopefully that makes sense to you right and that that's the super fan engine where you're gonna have a system and this is why i love systems they save yourself some time energy and money right you're gonna you're gonna want to have systems that's gonna work the same way every single day and if you don't have something like this in place and you're only thinking about sending people to your spotify link or to your apple music link or whatever case may be just for the streams it might not be the most effective way. All right. There's, there's a way to do this so that you can live off of your music with not a th like millions and millions of people, hundreds of thousands of millions of people 
that are going through their streaming links. But instead, you can be highly, highly profitable if you build a small list of loyal people, a thousand people, all right, uh, that are going to pay you, for example, a hundred dollars for the whole year, all right, for the whole year. And then you're at a hundred thousand dollars right there. All right. But there's levels to this. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take time. How about you start with five, 10, 20, 50, and then you keep building up like that. And over time, you'll see that it's going to create that snowball effect. You're going to start finding your true fans and maybe you have high t higher ticket offers. You play with the math to see where it's at uh, so that you can reach your goals. Be realistic because like I said, it's a simple concept, but it may not be easy. It may not happen over time, but this is how you'll be able to live off of your music with only 1000 fans. And for me, it, it actually makes perfect sense if you're talking about consistency and get to, getting to the point where you don't have to rely on any uh, on make it happen managers or, or anything else to live off of your ultimate passion, which is making music. So hopefully if that made sense on the next episode, I'm going to invite you to tune in. I'm going to talk about some of the offers that you can put together in order for you to, you know, uh, start finding your music buyers and converting your followers, your outsiders that you bring inside of your world into true fans. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to stay tapped in. Make sure that you subscribe, follow this so that you can get notifications. We're going to continue to get going in uh, with everything that I'm sharing on here to help you turn the talent that you have with your voice into gold so that you can get to the point where you can live off of music. All right, let's go.